Warning. 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 Giga Nutta, what the fuck? Hey, Giga, what you thinking about? Dinosaur stuff. Oh my goodness, this thing is like a limp noodle. There is just no way to pose this guy in a cool manner without him just flip-flopping side to side like a fish out of water. Um, man, what we had here was a, a potential mold and um, I guess what could have been a cool concept gone completely wrong, like, even Dr. Wu would not accept this in his lab. He would be like, what the is this thing supposed to be? Uh, maybe it's because this thing was created by Biosyn and they haven't perfected their genetics yet. I don't know what is to be said about this awful toy other than it's super, super disappointing, Mattel. At this point, you guys should be evolving and getting better not worse and stop this stupid action feature crap we don't like it it's cool that you want to make a dinosaur that can go side by side make it a joint i would prefer an action joint than this stupid retarded action feature this is just lame occasionally you can get it to move in a full cool way but this is an epic fail. I'm sorry, Mattel. The paint job, the sloppiness, um, it really feels like you guys are going downhill and um, should have made this guy bigger. The paint app is a little bit sloppy. Um, I hate this marbling that you guys are doing with some of these figures. Get it together, Mattel. That's all I got to say now. Uh, Am I happy I got this figure? Yeah, I'm glad to have it as part of the collection. That's why I wanted it. I held out for this particular Giganotosaurus because I didn't really want the super colossal one, even though I thought it was a way better action figure than this thing, simply because um, it was just too big, just way too big, could not be matched with my other figures, and I knew that wasn't useful. Uh, the little mini one was kind of cool with the sound, uh, the little 12 inch one, but it was not nearly enough detail and it just wasn't big enough. So I'm really hoping Mattel fixes this. I hope they understand that we, the fans, are not happy with this and they just um, give us a better Giganotosaurus in the future. Um, again, the tail feature, I mean, this just really feels like prototype material from Mattel. Like they're like, oh, let's do something new. We haven't completely perfected yet and just put it on the market and see what happens. Um, this loose Muppet puppet feature, this limp puppet thing um, actually reminds me of a 1990s cartoon. I don't know, uh, well, it wasn't really a cartoon. It was like a live series show. I don't know if you guys remember or not. Uh, Wienerville. Um, they had like a, a, a skeleton dinosaur on there, bony. And um, that's kind of the vibes. I'm getting bony vibes from this guy. So, um, yeah. With that being said, uh, Fishbricks85 here. If you don't like this video, I know it's not because of my video, it's because of this limp wrist dinosaur. I. This is terrible. I really hope I can take this guy apart and make him better because um, I just feel like I want to snap him right here because there's just no way to get him to stay. Wait, wait, I magically got it, but the problem is, whoops, look at that, barely touch it and it just does not stay in that pose. It actually looks decent when it will stay in that pose. 
the problem is, shake the table and look, boom, there it is. Anyway, guys, as always, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the disappointment. Let me know what you guys think. Are you happy with it? Is it cool enough? Is it complete and total fell on Mattel's part? I think it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Giga not a what? Giga not what we wanted. Anyway, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Omar, now get out of here! I'm bony, I'm bony. Leave me alone.